In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about Windows updates. How do we manage updates on a Windows 11 device? As you may know, update is very, very, very critical for your device. So without you updating your device, definitely your device will be vulnerable to hackers and malware and viruses. So you want to get, you want to make, you want to be, you want to be sure that your device are up to date every single month. As you may know, Microsoft have what is called a Patch Tuesday. On the Patch Tuesday, Microsoft releases all kinds of security and um, updates for your Windows device. Actually, not only for Windows 11, but for Windows 10 and Windows Server and other operating system that they still manage. So, to manage your Windows 11 update, what you need to do is to go to your settings. Or we can actually just go to our start menu and then type update and here you can see it says check for update or windows update settings so let's just click for check for update you can see automatically it's going to take us to <coughs> our windows settings and then windows update so the first thing you want to do definitely your device sometimes install update automatically so you don't need to actually do this you just see sometimes there's a um, kind of a notification that you need to restart your device but what you need to do sometimes once in a while is to go to your windows update and then click check for update by checking for updates your device is going to connect to a microsoft database and check if your windows 11 is up to date or not but during this check for update let me show you something else if i go to my start menu and i enter the following win v e r o which is called windows version but this is actually the shortcut for win where we call window version so you can see it's going to open it's a wrong command i'm going to click on that so by clicking on that it's going to show you which version of windows you are windows 11 you are using as you may know windows 11 comes with different version we have the version 1909 one eight one it started with one six zero seven if, if i remembered and now you can see we have the version two one h2 and that is the os build and at this moment you can see it says security intelligence update from microsoft defender antivirus is actually installing at this moment and it says pause update if for example you don't want you are working with your device sometimes when update gets installed you want to actually pause that update not to not to be installed for like you can see it says pause for one week and when i click the, the drop down list we have for two weeks three weeks four weeks and five weeks so if for example you pause update for five weeks and there's a security bridge or there's some security bridge in windows operating system and microsoft is trying to actually install or distribute different updates or device to be installed as quick as possible your device is not going to install that update and again you can see it says the update history when you click the update history it's going to show you which update has been installed when they have been installed you can see we have the definition update so when i click on that you can see we have the definition update and you can see it says successfully installed it's going to show you the date the update we are installed on your device and you can see we have other updates which is just one update so this is actually a recently installed windows 11 that's why we're not seeing a lot of updates so if you have been using windows 11 for some time definitely you'll be seeing a lot of updates on your device and if i go back let me just go back again to my windows update and now we can see we have the advanced options of windows update so let me just go click on the advanced options so in the advanced options here you can see we have the option it says receive updates for other microsoft products you can actually turn this on if you want to actually receive updates for other microsoft products and also it says give me up uh, get me up to date so here it says restart as soon as possible even during active hours Definitely, I will not want to put this on because your device may restart even if you are working with your device. It says also download update over method connection. Method connection means that if, for example, you are connected 
to a shared network or a cellular uh, network definitely your device will still download updates which is going to cost you some extra money and it says here it says notify me when the restart is required to finish updating i can actually just put and um, put this on so that you receive a notification and then you'll be you have the opportunity to close all your works you are doing before you can actually restart your device and also the active hours is actually here you can see it says from 8 a.m to 5 p.m and here it says adjust active hours we have we can actually do that manually so we can change this to a different time entirely for example i can sell t7 and just click ok so now it has been changed from 8 a.m to 7 p.m so if you are someone that works from 8 a.m to like 5 and again or you are working from home you have your own company or you are just using your own personal device definitely you want to adjust this time and also here you can see we says um optional update at this moment it says zero available update so the optional update you may see up um, some extra updates which are actually available here we can decide to actually just click on the optional update to get the update and install it on our device but if for example you don't want update to be installed on your device what you need to do is the following you can actually disable um, updates on your device from the windows services so if i go to my start menu and i type the following here you can see we have uh services so just click on services so in services let me just click this to standard and then we're going to go to windows updates here you can see it says windows update at this moment is not actually not running i can decide it to actually here you see you can see it says manual and we can decide to actually disable this let me just click apply and then click ok so by disabling this windows update you will not be able to actually if i go back again to update and I say check for updates sometimes by disabling the update you may not be able to receive any update from microsoft because this is actually the services is actually disabled so let me go back again to the services so this is actually a method which in which you can actually use to start the service for example here i can just go to start the wrong command and then enter services.msc and then click ok and here we go you can see it's going to actually start the services and then let me go back again to standard and if i go back again to my windows update you can see it says running so what i need to do right now is go to properties and then here i'm going to actually just disable this and for the final let me just stop the update and then click apply and then click ok so right now you can see our update is disabled and if we go back again to our windows update we try to check for update we are not going to see any update on this device so this is how you manage your windows updates on your windows 11 device and mind you it is very very important that your windows device is up to date so try your possible best to be checking if possible once in every week or once in every two weeks to see if there are updates that needs to be manually installed on your device